sounds, what starts. Watch this. This is the heavy, heavy monster sound. Good day. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Haberdashery Show. The boys are here. Well, sort of. Um, normally we got G.I. on the other side, but we got him here in the blind. <laughs> We said we were going to do this. Yes, when we got yeah. together. Doing this. And we are going. Yeah! Drink on here. <laughs> this is the way we need to do it, Gio. This is a way, my friend. This is the breakfast of champions. No, no, is it? Well, I don't know, is it? Uh, yeah. And this is the way we'll be going from now on. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. I don't like champagne. Welcome. Haberdashery show. I hope you got all that and heard us all. <laughs> back here, back online. Having Fine. you sitting right opposite me, G.I. It is scary, isn't it? It's a dream come true. It's me. scary. We haven't been together for about oh, 165 days or something. Something like that. 16 yeah. weeks. And certainly... Five episodes? Are we five in? Four, six, is this, this is five, a six. Six, 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 six in. Six episodes. We should be laughing. Six episodes. I mean, we did the promo ages ago. We did it back in January, yeah. I think, the promo. <laughs> That's when we first I started. We're ready to go. Here we go. We're about to sit down. And that very week, we... Well, see, that goes to show. That was... It was meant to happen. Do you think? No. No, it was never meant. None of that was meant to happen. I, I look, I'm, I've had a loss, but it's good to have got to touch it. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> good, good to have you here, buddy. Ah, oh, look, I'm just happy to be here. Finally, now to sit opposite you, like the old days. How's how's the week been? How's it gone? Oh, look, normal. <laughs> it's just crazy week. It's just crazy. As things just haven't changed. No. I mean, we actually, we went out to dinner for the first time. Oh, yeah, yeah. In, uh, I think, since it's been locked down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we went and had Greek. And, and such was the enjoyment of it that we've booked again tomorrow night to go out go again. again. Okay. Uh, this is good. Every second night we're going to go out now just for the next month. Oh, f for those, for our overseas guys as well, obviously we're, we're from Melbourne in Victoria and um, we've been in lockdown Oh, what, as with everyone else across the world, they started back in March, February, March, went in. Thought we were over it. Then our uh, head of state decided, no, nope. back into lockdown. Well, it, was his pro it was his fault, though. was his fault. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we're not going to go there. That doesn't matter. It Regardless. He caused, he caused the second wave, bigger wave. Yeah. And the, and the worst case of uh, uh, tracking. Yeah, yeah, terrible tracking. Yeah, there was so, no, no tracking of the virus, no follow-up. Well, I no. found out during the week, I found out, do you know what they were using? Uh, Post-it notes, I think. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> Appar around. No, apparently. Uh, he, he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> apparently what they were saying, that they were, they were using an old system that they used to have, which worked really well, fax machines and post-it <laughs> notes. That was how they were doing the tracing. People would fax in the information each time. Courier pigeons <laughs> are tying notes to their legs, flying them off. <laughs> Rats tying on their legs and their tails. <laughs> Stop. Oh, it's crazy. I couldn't believe it. When someone told me that, I said, no, no, that's not right. He goes, yeah, apparently the system hasn't changed since it was brought in, I don't know, how many years well, ago. Well, well, went into lockdown. We've been in lockdown since... Uh, March, April, May, was it May, I think, back in, yeah, whatever March. it was, right through till now. Yep. Finally released our numbers are looking good. So only one, two cases a day in, in Melbourne. So uh, thankfully out, still in stage three restrictions, I three. think we are. Yeah. So masks are still compulsory. Outdoors. Outdoors. Um, house bubbles. How, there are house bubbles now. So yep. you're in our house bubble. Um, and there are some restrictions with gatherings outside and stuff, but no one takes notice of it, as long as you're wearing a mask. But it's just good, good to have you out. Ah, but but oh, we we haven't I haven't ventured out yet at all though. Haven't you? 
I, we've, I mean, we've been to the shops, but just normal supermarket shopping, but not not really out. Oh, no, I've already gone everywhere. I've gone, I've been to three or four uh, uh, aged care facilities <laughs> just because, like, I've got no one there. It's just because I was just able, to, just because I could go there. That was all. I mean, it's great. Uh. Because you actually walk up to the aged care facility, you walk inside, and then you go, <laughs> 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 and everyone starts running around and everything nah. like that. Yeah, just all the lockdown, just well, the shutters fall. W- w- one other reason, G.I., uh, yes. that I have been as well, and you know, I <laughs> have, have had a bit of a kidney stone sort of problem and issue, which started around Father's Day about six, seven weeks ago, <laughs> and um, hit its peak <laughs> last weekend. Uh, got admitted in on Monday into hospital, had it taken out on Tuesday night. They wouldn't operate because I didn't have a COVID test. This is how stupid things were, yeah? So I was in the hospital on Monday and people were coming in and out of the room, Yeah. right? Now they go, you have to have a COVID test. Now, as soon as I had the COVID test Monday evening, all of a sudden they've blanketed everything off, shut the doors off, no one could come in or out. In your room? In my room. <laughs> Because before I could go in and out, I was wandering around. And people were willy-nilly coming in. And as soon as I said, I've had a COVID test, they shut it down. So they all shut the door. Anytime anyone walked in, they had to have the face shield, the goggles, the face mask, gloves, the full gown to come in and give me two Panadols. <laughs> and then go out, take it all off, burn it, Right. And then if someone wanted to offer me water, they'd have to come back in, gown all up, here's your water, go out, take water. An hour ago, it was all right. See, I don't get it. An hour ago, you were fine to come in and, and check me over. And now, to give me a panel, you got to gear up just because I've had the COVID, which came back negative anyway, which I think is good. Is negative good or was positive? No, negative, no, no, is, negative good. is good. Negative is good. Negative is good. Positive, positive. Yeah, yeah. No, so negative, positive. yeah, so I didn't have it. So... Uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, they can give you a long tube from the door and yeah, just, water in or something like that. They're throwing my meals at me. Just catch. <laughs> Sir, can you open your mouth, please? Big, big slide on the door, push it through. It's like little prisons. No joking. Yeah. Uh, and no, then, nice. and then, yeah. So okay. I had the procedure yeah, Tuesday night. And look, the procedure's fine because you go under. And I don't know about you. Do you... Do you look forward to having an anaesthetic? I do. I, I don't mind it. I like the anaesthetic. I, I, like going, I like that feeling of trying to fight it and then going out and then, oh, and then wondering where I'm going to wake up next. And it's one of the worst. I don't one know of the why. It's feelings that you ever have because you know that you're going to fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. But you're not tired. No. It's sort of like that situation of, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't and gain yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it really is. A, it's, a gra- it's a crazy thing. The waking up, I don't like from it. I don't, yeah. No, I don't like that. I, that's a. That's a well, they, they, they were waking me. They, they were shaking me, and I, I could feel it. And I didn't want to open my eyes. I was pretending to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I gave the one eye, and then, oh, well, he's not waking. I thought, oh, I better wake up before they shove something the else into me. <laughs> <laughs> Clear up. Paddles on the eye. <laughs> so I'm waking up. Oh, you're awake. Oh, clearly, <laughs> I'm awake. I've had my eyes shut for two hours. <laughs> I'm now awake. Yes, I'm awake. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah, okay, you know. But you gave birth to a... Gave birth to a six mil kidney stone oh, that they removed. Proud, proud father. But what, it, what, it, what, in your opinion, what if someone says they're going to remove a kidney stone, what do you think and how do you think they're going to get there? Do you think it's a just a... I would have thought, yeah, I would have thought it would have been a keyhole surgery on the yeah. side or something like that. Or, 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 or you know, I don't know, maybe from the backside? No, I don't think there's any way that way. But no? the way they went in, GI, is the wrong way up a, a one-way alley. Ooh, through the high diddle diddle. Well, they shouldn't go in any <laughs> other, GI. That is not a path that should ever be taken. Right? It's, it's not a path that should be taken. It's not a path well-worn. <laughs> and so things had been a bit tender. Let me just say so. So hang on. So the procedure is that they go through the yeah they go up for the little camera. They is it uh, a little fishing rod? Little fishing rod. They they have miners going with the hats and, and ropes. They <laughs> lower oh. them. <laughs> I'm at the kidney. <laughs> Get the stone Fantastic out. Fantastic voyage, isn't it? Yeah, pull them out. Little yeah. spaceship. Yeah. My, I mean, miniaturize the spaceship. Yeah. They go inside, mine out, chip it away. It's like uh, Armageddon when they send the space rocket to the meteor. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Blow it up. Yeah. Had a kind of bits and pieces. So, 
Uh, yeah. Oh. A couple of days off, back to it. All right. Much better, though. Much better. But did it come out easy or did it have resistance? No, I don't know. They, yeah? Yeah, because you're, you're under, so you don't know. Mm. It's very tender. So <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it was an easy... Like I say, it's not a path that should be taken to you. But oh, it, no. Well, when, when I saw the specialist, and he's an American bloke, right? He had an accent. I go, oh, is it going to be keyhole surgery to get it out? He goes, no, no, Frank. Pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have to dress yourself no. up or anything like that for the, the occasion? Well, funnily, funny you... Because <laughs> they're in that area. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you, you wear the gown. But, yeah. I mean, it's like... I think do they do they have to tidy it up or will I have to tidy up? That was yeah. You put a little little mat, little hair net on. <laughs> <laughs> just so, just so, just for safety reasons. That's all. It's just, like, yeah, man. How you doing, man? Okay. It's all okay. right. It's okay. Well, man. I wasn't sure of the protocol, so uh, oh, okay. So you yeah. know, just a bit of manscaping. I thought you know, just make it easier for them to get to, but. <laughs> um, Ooh, poor face. Yeah. yeah, not good. very, very sad. Well, we actually had a bit of tragedy in, in our household. Actually, my mother. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, Yes, yeah. You know that mum has uh, chickens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like so she like had, good ethnics do. Yeah, like good ethnics do. Yes, yes. That was our source of eggs. Yeah, beautiful. And, and every so, every three months. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> so, but during the week, unfortunately, she had an intruder. Oh. A fox. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a terrible thing. She came out one morning and she found her three chickens all over the place type of thing. And but hang on, did you see the fox? No, oh. no, 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 no. No, we saw the hole. Could have been like murder-suicide or something. <laughs> Couldn't have been another chicken. So <laughs> got into it. <laughs> and then blew its own brains out. <laughs> so maybe some cockfighting. Maybe you heard about me. <laughs> No, no, no it's a like, fox, yeah. Because no, like, it, it, it is in a, it's a pretty, it's a urbanised area, so it's, it's yeah, yeah. No, we've got a, there's, a, there's creek, a creek, there's yeah. a creek down further back from her house, but yeah, yeah. apparently there's quite a few foxes and they, they're quite hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they go out in search of. Yeah, so she came out one morning and she oh, oh, shattered. So I got a phone call at, at six thirty in the morning. Yeah. The chickens. They're all gone. They're dead. They've been shattered. They've got feathers everywhere. <laughs> I said, did you make a doona? <laughs> I said, no. I said, the happy side to it. At least a little pillow, a nice soft pillow. <laughs> happy side to it. Oh, no, she was traumatised. Yeah. And, and we went over today and we had to pull down the chicken coop and everything like that. Ah, uh, why? She, she didn't want to get any more? No, she didn't want to. She, she hasn't been out in the backyard for since it's happened. Oh, why? Since last Tuesday. She's traumatised. Oh. Didn't want to see the chicken coop. <laughs> Nothing. It's, every time she walks past, she shows her face, or looks away from the coop and everything like that. Yeah. <laughs> sort of like, she hears, she hears a... <laughs> she's, she's in the corner, <laughs> shaking. Poor woman. What, what happens when a KFC commercial comes <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, obviously you won't be getting chicken for a while either, though. No chicken cutlets, schnitzels. No, no. no. Well, well, that was the whole thing, you know. Easter. What happens at Easter? You know, you got Easter eggs and then yeah. some of the chicken eggs and things. So yeah, no, very traumatizing. You know, we're actually thinking that she may have to go see somebody. <laughs> <A> Burger King <laughs> chicken. <laughs> I think she might have PS, PTS. PTS, PSTD? Yeah. Post, no, Post, PTSD, post traumatic stress syndrome. Yeah, or PTCD. What, chicken post syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Really, really bad. Oh, so she's so not pretty... going to go chicken. No, no, no. Oh, she's done. Okay. She's, she's done and dusted. She no. said, if, uh, my chickens now will come frozen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, fair enough. It's much like the <laughs> last <laughs> lot of chickens in the... Well, she might. She might. Uh... She doesn't go online the map, but <laughs> what she can do, yes. GI, if she's off it, she might go vegan, right? Ooh. Hear Italian. me out. Yeah, I know, I know. She's Italian. <laughs> she doesn't even know what vegan means. Well, well, the reason I went there is, look, in the UK, yeah. the first vegan butcher has come out. In the UK. Hang on, that's, a, that's an oxymoron. It is. It is, it is. <laughs> How can you have a vegan butcher? Well, by definition, a butcher is someone who 
uh, slaughters an animal yeah. and butchers it and carves it and carves up the meat, prepares it for yeah, sale. That's, that's right. what a butcher is, yeah, that's, that's by right. definition. And so um, it's a vegan butcher. I don't know. Is he a scalper? Sculpture? He sculpts like he sculpts you know, into uh, into. Well, that's a thing. Drumsticks. I mean, Ooh, I don't know. I've got no idea. Again, we've spoken about this. You're a vegan. Fine. It's a it's a way of life. <laughs> I get that. Right. Don't understand it, but. If you're going to be having vegan food and your choice is not to eat animal products, why are you shaping them to look like animals into yeah. a meat product and also making them taste like a meal product? Why? They don't I don't get know, that. They don't know what meat tastes like. So why do you want to make it taste like no, meat? A lot of vegan, a lot of people have become vegans. Obviously, they've had meat. They Now their choice is not to have it. So they know what it tastes like. Yeah, but that's the whole idea. They're but becoming why? vegans, isn't it? Because they don't like the taste or they don't like the actual meat? Exactly. So why are you shaping it and adding flavouring to it to make it taste like meat? I don't get that. Have you tasted anything vegan? No, because I don't <laughs> want to. And if I did, and if it looks and tastes like meat, then there's no point. Yeah, good point. The uh, whole point is you don't want that. My, my wife actually fell into the trap of the uh, plant-based burger. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Hungry Jacks. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Jacks? Gave it a go? I yeah, know, oh, she did it by oh. mistake. She just saw, oh. she saw it was a new burger. So she goes, oh, 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 oh give it a go. Give me, give me a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Scraping it off her tongue and everything. Yeah, no, it just didn't go. No. But, yeah, but I don't get, I don't get, what is it, this vegan butcher? Why does it have to be a vegan I don't know. sampler? It's, it's just, I don't nah. It. Have nah. your lentil burger. I got it. Have a burger, mate. Lentils, <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's your choice. But don't make lentils taste like meat or no. beef, pork, chicken, whatever it is. Could you imagine trying to bring someone who's a vegan back to your parents' place or something like that if you're Italian? <laughs> No, no. Here are our vegan sausages. (laughs) Here's our vegan parmesan cheese. Here's our vegan ricotta. (laughs) Lasagna. But everything has a beef base. There's nothing that there is nothing in an Italian (laughs) diet or culinary experience that is not animal based. In any way. Even in Italian, any way. Water, Italian water's got beef. Yeah, they're, it's strained it. through pork, <laughs> through the water. <laughs> it comes it. through the mountains, <laughs> through the rocks. There's a pig at the end. <laughs> it gets strained through that and into a bottle. It's exactly what it is. That's right. It's, no. It doesn't matter what you do. Even, no. You know, aqua frizzanti. Yeah. For, yeah. yeah it's, it's I don't like Do you like the bubbly water? Do you like... I don't mind it. Mineral water that's... Bubbly. bubbly. Yeah, I don't mind it. Aerated, isn't it? Aerated, yeah. Or bubbly, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't mind. I don't mind it every no. so often. Like on a hot day, a cold uh, mineral water that's bubbly. No, eh. I don't like it. I can't have it. it. Same as milk. I like cold milk. Ah, oh, cold milk. Yeah, but milk is a bubbly. We're talking about yeah, bubbles. Just saying, it's... Bubbly water, plain water. Yeah, I just. I don't cold. like the bubbly. It just it doesn't taste right. Yeah, you're a soft drink drinker. No, but it doesn't taste right because if I see bubbles, I want sweetness in it. Why? Because that's why bubbles are made of sweet. <laughs> Some made of hair. Like these bubbles, sweet. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Mm. That sweet. Oh. So water, can't, no, can't have bubbles. I don't like it. It doesn't taste right to me. It gets a, has a metallic taste. But that's neither here nor there. No, it doesn't matter. I just thought I'd bring that up anyway. But yeah. um, um, what have we got on the show today? Tonight? Oh, well, look, uh, we've got a top five happening. Yeah, we've got our top five. We've broken it down from 10 to 5. Yeah, 10 to 5. I mean, we don't have... We, we're lazy bastards. And we talk too much yeah. at that time, so but That's no, basically I'm sure what you it means. like it. Yeah. Um, but the top five, yeah, we've got a top five. We've got a few What's more What's the articles. top five tonight? Um, well, it's going to be on um, Qantas pilots and jobs. Hey, didn't he walk the earth after he killed Cross? No, that's Pontius Pilot. <laughs> 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 Ponch. Ponch's pilot. Ponch's pilots. Got it. <laughs> Got it. You've gotten funnier during quarantine. <laughs> Ponch's <laughs> I was just. <laughs> it can't be a version pilot. <laughs> So we've got we've got what pilots can do. Okay, I got that. Part. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough drinking for you, I think. I just thought the drink. Oh, that was funny. Oh, 
that's, um, that's what I am. If, I, if anything, I yeah. know funny. Oh, you know funny. I do. I know uh, funny. Yeah, so we've got that, the top ten, top, <laughs> top five. five. Top five. Um, <clears> and a few other articles. We uh, might go back and have a look at another one of um, Mark from Brisbane, one of his gripes uh, again. I didn't bring a gripe tonight. Didn't bring a grunt. No, that's they didn't need to do a grunt this night. Just being, gee, I <laughs> see you here. <laughs> that's the whole thing. The oh, entertainment. That's, that's, the entertainment is just us yeah, sitting here. Yeah. It's like two old men. <laughs> two, two grumpy old men. <laughs> From the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love the Muppets. I used to so look forward to that on a Sunday oh, night. I, I did. As soon as the music came on, you'd rush over and wait for the Swedish chef. <laughs> uh, and Beaker. Yeah. Beaker. And the Beaker. <laughs> and the two old men up in there. The two old men. They were classics. Love those. But even the guests that they used to have were That's phenomenal. a great guest. They used to have some uh, really wonderful guests yeah. right through the whole thing. I mean, John Cleese, Elton yeah. John, Dolly Parton. Um, Both of Betty. them. Yeah, no, no, they, were, <laughs> they, were great. they were really as well, good She sang show. Islands in the Stream. Yeah. Yeah, she was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing backstroke. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, GIS and normal shenanigans happening. Yes, so, very so much. Tonight. So. Um, now, uh, I know you got on reasonably well with your neighbours, most of them. <laughs> yes, I do. But there are, there's a uh, overseas, I think it was in the US, there are two neighbours, both rich billionaires, okay? Yeah. Um, like and they had know. beach, like us, uh, and they had beachfront properties next door to each other, okay? So one of them built uh, or commissioned a sculpture, and it was a ratty, it's just marbly blue sort of thing. Yeah, if we're lucky, we might get our producer, Julian, to, to find it and pop it on the screen. Um, the other neighbour hated it. Okay. Hate, 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 hate. So he started complaining about it, wanted it taken down, rang the council, said it got put up, erected illegally, needed to have building permits, etc. It was making it hard for the mm. other guy, Okay. Or was it on his property? It was on his own property. It was on his own property. So but he used to look into it in the back. I don't think there's an offence because it's beachfront and all that. Anyway, yeah. he just wanted to complain bit, about bit it. Bit of bad luck, I say. Agree. So this guy complained. Council, yeah. right? So the other guy that has the sculpture mm -hmm. thought, revenge. I need to get back. Yeah. So what he's been doing, he's been playing Gilligan's Island on loop, 24 hours a day. Through the loudspeakers? In his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just going, <laughs> tormenting the f crap out of this other guy. He's not a CIA agent. He, <laughs> <laughs> that's how they do, that's how they do yeah, torture. Torture. Torture? Torture. This is torture. Uh, so not loud part. enough that it doesn't... Yeah, break any uh, rules and like noise levels, but continues. enough for this guy to hear. It's the story of a cat that do a long, long, long time. Just over and over. Brilliant. Brilliant. What he should have done is made a, built a big sandcastle and put it in front of his property. <laughs> the big, blocked the view. Blocked and, the view. <laughs> that would have been plant some palm trees. <laughs> his revenge in 20 years will be sweet. <laughs> I'll get you. Have, have you ever done it? Like, have you ever revenged? Me? No. I'm like not that neighbor. Kind of, I'm not that kind of person. I have. Why? What have you done? Guy next door. <laughs> Gee, I, <laughs> they they rented and uh, they moved in. And, and I don't mind the parties. Like, parties are fine. Yeah. Um, but their courtyard backs up right out onto our uh, back near our window, bedroom window. Oh, okay. So they get out there and they'll be rowdy. And it's fine. Like, I get it. Right? One night, no problem. Now, I don't think these people worked, all right? So, <laughs> and this is a Thursday night. Come Friday night, same thing. Ooh. Okay. So, look, hey, keep it down, plumbers, please. You yell from your window yeah, or yeah. you go around the door? No, nah, from the, the backyard. You know? No, no, I went to the backyard. Keep yeah. it down, please. And it was sort of went quiet for a bit. And then it's laughing and continuing. Yeah. Saturday night, same thing. Just go, yeah. Like, I go, I've had enough of this. So, because uh, they don't get up early, obviously, because no, they're all hung over. And... Yep. So, mm. at about eight o'clock that morning, whippersnipper started her up, just left it <laughs> running near the fence. I got my blower, started that up, just left it, started the lawnmower, just revving the crap out of it just near the. Ah! 
hammer, started fixing the fence. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. For, for a good hour. A good hour. It's a good thing you're not vindictive. No, they it's moved like... out. Following week, they moved out. <laughs> oh, I promise they actually they moved out. They, Did they, they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. What good advertising you are for people that are going to be renting that house. Well, you can't do that. Can't have some bit of respect. That's not nice. It's their Come house. On. It's not their house. You move into our neighbourhood. Oh, don't Respect the rules. <laughs> what rules? Neighbourhood rules. What neighborhood I was rules? one of the first in this street. Respect <laughs> them. What neighbourhood rules? Do you have to give what? people... Yeah, how about your normal, your normal... Caveat? Your normal decorum. Put down the music after two or three in the morning. <laughs> Maybe not have your party outside in the backyard. Move it inside. Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> when during hey, your wartime, you know we've had our share of parties, and they, <laughs> but we've always had that respect. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, I've only had the co- cops once or twice, and I didn't call the cops on them. Did you? No. What? Why? I wouldn't have done uh, that. Well, no. What? You, you think it's better to do your own revenge, vigilante style, than to call the police? It's much more rewarding. <laughs> <laughs> Vengeance, a dish best served cold. <laughs> Vengeance is mine. On my command, unleash hell. I said. Did you throw? Did you have got some a whole heap of grasshoppers and just thrown it around the thing? <laughs> <laughs> they called it the play. Locusts. <laughs> Frogs. Get <laughs> red wine in a bucket and just get throw it f- four horsemen to come and ring on his doorbell. <laughs> Party at my house, will ya? <laughs> Make his water turn red. Red. <laughs> red cordial in his, in his water tank. <laughs> that's, a, that's, yeah. that's better. So, so I get what this guy was doing. Yeah. I, just, uh, no, but, uh, I, don't, I don't get that. I, I think you do have your thing. Just don't talk to him anymore. No, but they'll just keep doing it over and over. It doesn't matter. It's it fine. does matter. I want to sleep. No, no go. No. You need to get away. You need to get over it. Build a bridge. Or well, that guy should have built a bridge. He should have built a bridge. And got away with it. Yeah. You know, all right. No, I'm, I'm up with that guy playing that torturing music. <laughs> but that, that's, it's not an annoying song, but it would get annoying after a while. Of course it would, but anything does. That's how they do torture in, Guant- in Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. As they they yeah. used to have just loud music being played over and over. In fact, over. I think... Um, Twisted Sister or something. Was it Twisted Sister or maybe Metallica where they played Enter Sandman and they actually asked them to stop playing it. Metallica heard, or one of the yeah. bands had heard, that they're using that music as torture, and they've said, no, stop playing that music. <laughs> it's like all the Trump. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Twisted Sister, they were using Twisted Sister. Yeah, song. all the Trump rallies. Like no, Twisted he's Twisted using Sister. lots of songs. I like saying Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister. Yeah. I don't like saying that. But they apparently, they told, Trump, <laughs> they told Trump to stop using their music. Everyone's telling him to stop using yeah. it. Uh, Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac was one. I oh, know Fleetwood Mac was one. Uh, Twisted Sister was the other one. Uh, you too. Uh, oh, no, Dave, they, Dave Grohl. Was, no, he just went up to Biden and said, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave Grohl. Yeah, yeah. The, a lot of his it. music they're yeah. all using it. So oh, okay. no. Right. Can't have that. But apparently that's that's due to be uh, elected on very shortly, isn't it? I think the elections are coming up and we're waiting for our US correspondent to come on board. Yes. Hopefully we can get a hold of him and he can let us know how things are going. First hand view on what's happening over there in the States with, with the uh with the Trump Biden elections. Well I want to know about the whole thing and what's happening there. The Biden elections, uh the Black the Lives virus, Matter Black Lives Matter, just a general economy. Actually, speaking of the Black Lives Matter, did you see the Philadelphia story? No, no, not the Philadelphia story, but the story I've seen that the news- with Tom Hanks. It was good. <laughs> The story that happened in Philadelphia, which started another riot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh. Where are these police officers supposed to go now? What are they supposed to do? I don't know. This Beg guy, him, please, please stop. This guy came at him with a knife, attacked him, they shot him, and now they started rioting because they shouldn't have shot him. But I, I, look, I get the protest. All right, protest if you think it. But what's with the looting? <laughs> Shoot a black man. Okay, let's go to Walmart, everyone. Line up. Someone bring the hammer. We're getting in through the windows. Don't worry about opening the door through the I don't know what you, you mean. You see people just and no one's stopping. Everyone's filming him. Yeah, but I don't know what you mean that they're gonna meet. They're already there. <laughs> they already know. They've already they're got in the car park. <laughs> they're on the Come cars. On. Where's that uh, should be happening? Where's that's, yeah. that's what it's like there. Yeah. 10, Who's on nine. Facebook? Who's on Facebook? <laughs> check it, check it, check it. Yeah, they're already waiting. Don't worry. They've already got it set up. They, yeah. What they do is they do the day before, 
they all do the scouting in the shop to see what they're going to get. <laughs> Next day, when it actually rides, starts so that, straight for the aisles. It's like it's like so they know where to run. It's like Boxing Day specials. <laughs> it's a Black Lives Matter special. They know where to run. Yeah. It was a path. It's all three. Remember, all right, kids, you block that side. I'm going <laughs> in. Get the trolley. Meet you in the car park. Gone. <laughs> But it's so stupid because everyone's filming as I, well. But that's the whole thing, though. Everyone's got a phone. Everyone's got a camera. You are gonna, you're gonna love this one. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't know if you saw the vision during the week of this is again here in Melbourne of uh, a, a magpie swooping a small child. Yeah, yeah. So other oh, that was yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That was now there was there was a reporter and uh, it swooped the reporter as well. But if Julian again grabs a vision, we'll see this kid. Right, watch this. And tell me what you think. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> now, right, here, the father is sitting there filming the child <laughs> on a scooter, Gio. <laughs> It's this right. kid is scooting down right. and this magpie is swooping and he's sitting there, he's sitting there filming <laughs> this kid going, oh, run, run, oh, oh. This kid is sheer terror and this prick of a dad, all he's doing is sitting there filming. That's the modern day father. Just to get five minutes. Yeah, that's the modern day Just father. to get his five minutes of viral video. Modern day, modern day reporter. That is a social reporter. Surely, if that was your kid, right? When I was small, and I hit yeah. now, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But when I was small, yeah. surely you'd be running towards your kid, getting rid of this magpie, trying no, to protect I'd, your I'd kid. I'd be filming as well. <laughs> <laughs> said, but I would have had the whole hand. You'd be facing yourself. I'd have had the handy. I'd have had the big handy cam on the shoulder. <laughs> Back then, going, Wait there, I'll get it done. I'll get you. I'll get it done. You'd want to. You'd want to interview the magpie <laughs> after. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> but what a prick! Oh, that, but that's Go funny. help your kid. Don't sit there filming it. But all, all social media is that is that at the moment. That What's, is, it's just all this humor and everything like that. But no one's helping no, these people. They're just no, filming it all. No, it, it's terrible. But that's like. But it, life is like that. I don't Why? know. I, I don't, Why, I, I don't Why know. are we becoming like that? We are. We have become. We've become a, a social media <clears throat> reporting global people. That everyone wants to go out there with their mobile phones and get their scoop and that's, become the next m media reporter. Well, that that brings me right into what's my gripe, Gio. And uh, right. uh, I think the music will play and you'll we'll, we'll hear it. And, uh, the gripe. Now, we got a gripe a, uh, a while ago and we asked a few people to, to send them in. So thank you to all those. Now, here's another one from Mark from Brisbane. Okay, Gio. And it goes to what we've just been discussing. So Mark's saying people... Who vague book, right? So he's calling it vague book instead of Facebook. <laughs> he says, as in cryptic Facebook status update, which is wanting comments from people. So they're they're, they're making things vague and saying people to comment. Yeah, you know, come on, say, you know, say, uh, just forcing people to comment. Yep. Yeah. Um, and his other one about uh, internet and social media channels are now platforms for idiots of the world who share their views. Now, this is going back to this guy sitting there filming. Yeah. Okay. All he's doing is looking for attention. Well, that's how right? Jackass started, wasn't it? What? They filmed their kids well, they getting attacked by a man. They filmed themselves. Themselves getting hurt. Yeah. But they're just mates doing that and yeah, having a laugh. This is your child. It's the same right? thing. No. You, you do anything for humor. No. I'd do anything for humor. No. No. Yeah. No. I'd even show my son. And again, going back to Mark's gripe, saying, what he hates, his gripe, are keyboard warriors who attack others on Facebook for their opinions. Oh, that, that I don't like. All right? Yeah. Since when has giving your opinion been a crime and agree to disagree? Yes. That, that's, and that's, that's, a, that's a very good point. And I yeah. think I, I'm wholehearted behind Mark on this one because yeah. I think that the whole idea of Facebook is the way I understand it is that I don't care. It's my opinion. If you don't yeah. like it, not like television, you haven't got somebody who can go to complain, yeah. walk away. Yeah. Don't listen to it. Be free, don't free me anymore. Yep, yep. Because I'm going to say crap that makes me laugh and makes me feel good. Yeah. If you're not mm -hmm. happy with it, oh, that's away. fine. That's what Facebook is for, yeah. right? Walk but away. he's saying, but Facebook now, he's saying, has evolved from, hey, let's connect with people who I didn't like 30 years ago <laughs> to see what they're up to, to, hey, 
look at my fabulous car, my life, my house, my holiday, my shoes, the pet. I'm po- posting this now to make you feel shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sort of, in a sense, is true yeah, as, as I get, well. Yeah, I now, get that as well. During the week, now I've got a friend that I used to work with a while ago and, and she entitled to her opinion and, and I don't jump on there and disagree mm. or agree, right? I just, hi, it's good to see you again. Now, now she doesn't like the whole Dan Andrews thing. She's one of these that thinks, oh, it's a total, yeah, yeah. you know, bullshit thing. All right. There's a lot of people out there. So post everything. Can you believe this? This is disgraceful. This is, a, again, waiting to get opinions from people going, oh, my God, I don't believe it. Right. Now, she posted something last week, and it was a, um, a video of someone that looked like they were in Parliament, Victorian Parliament, yeah. uh, complaining about an email that got sent to someone in Parliament. Now, he's reading this email saying, uh, look, I can't believe this, you know. Somebody sent an email to say they want to know why um, this virus is different uh, in Melbourne and why we're treating it differently. And so apparently someone from Parliament responded back that the Melbourne virus has changed and it's different. It's mutated. It's mutated only in Melbourne. And we want to know why, uh, right? Now... It looked, it looked bogus to me. It didn't look like that, that was the person but saying, it's okay. fake. So everyone's comments, oh, my God, can you believe this? Oh, my God. So she's got the reaction. Now, all I posted was who was the person reading the email in Parliament? And not one person responded. No one knew. Well, no one responded. So they've gone from believing that, oh, my God, this is really happening in Parliament to... Well, no one knows who actually, this bloke actually is. Now, you see the guy reading, you see lips moving, but you don't actually it's know funny. that he's a person saying it. Oh, you know what I fake, mean? So this is Trump's but people fake have posted this and it's like, oh, my God, look at this. And people are believing that that is what's actually happening. You can't help people. The stupidity of people is just... Exactly what Mark was saying with Phil Gripe, Mark. Exactly that. Is exactly Silly that. people. people. Silly people. Fashioning things. Fake news. Fake, fake news. Fake news. It's fake news. Fake news. Fake news. I don't believe it, GA. Fake, fake news. Fake news. Well, fake. I don't know what you can say. You can do about that. Anyway, moving away from there. Moving away. You're a practical joker, man. Oh, I like practical jokes. Yeah. yeah, you are. You actually, your practical jokes are quite legendary <laughs> in many of the workplaces that you've been to and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah, they go. They do go around quite well. So do you like, people, do you like the people, time I, I changed the coffee with the hot chocolate like that and people? <laughs> <laughs> I think your your most famous one was when you tied up all the tea bags. <laughs> you, you pull it out, and they all come with you. That was no, no. What about good. what about the sign that said? I put a sign on the toilet doors downstairs that said, uh, "Out of out of use, please use upstairs toilets." <laughs> then the upstairs toilet says, "Out of use, please use downstairs toilets." <laughs> they weren't happy. HR wasn't happy with that one. No. <laughs> So yes, you're you're a big man on, on practical yeah. jokes, I, and I, I, people do bow to you when it comes to practical jokes. You are, I like you them. are legendary. I like them. But there was one in America just recently, which I need to tell you about. Uh, it was a law firm and, and a junior lawyer. Yeah. Um, a group of his mates got together and, and said to him, "Well, look, it's going to be Halloween very shortly. We're going to be holding a Halloween party in the office, and um, we're having a fancy dress." So, you know, we're all getting our outfits together. And I said, you know, we think that we're thinking that you maybe get dressed up as the, one of the blue Smurfs and rock up to the party. Oh, so they told him what to dress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the whole thing. <laughs> I see. They just, they just couldn't be Ah, uh, suspicious already <laughs> if you ever on to the... Yeah. But these are lawyers, by the way, right, okay? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so they've rocked up to this party. <laughs> they've rocked up to the work and it was apparently a farewell for one of the senior partners. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've rocked up to this party and this bloke's walked into the office <laughs> with his blue smooth outfit. <laughs> so he was blue. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, there's, there, are, there is footage there. We can get our producer back and put one up and might have a look at it and see, see, to see what it was like. But, but also... Going on the theme of practical jokes, what would be some of your best practical jokes other than the ones that we've just spoken about at this point in time? Knowing that you're the master of it, so um, come for next April, for April Fool, yeah. something to be playing on people's minds. That's in I mean, think. we have filled up somebody's car with styrofoam balls, like the beanbags. 
<laughs> so we were able to get her car keys, open her sunroof, and just fill it. Uh, she, she was a former workplace that you currently work with, GI. Um, we saw it very funny, very funny, because she was driving down the road with the windows open and the, the whole flying out. She had it in her air conditioning duct for, for years. She wasn't happy, but yeah. very funny, memorable. That one. There was another one where you turned all the drawers upside down. So, that was, yeah. No, so no, that was clever. So all the office drawers, so, yeah, flip them over, slide them back in. So <laughs> when they got to pull it out. <laughs> that was clever. Uh, I spent a whole night once changing everybody's drawers. <laughs> so because they're all lockable, a lot of them. So I, you'd bring them around to other people's desks. <laughs> so it took weeks to find out <laughs> where your drawers went. <laughs> That was a good note. So, I don't mind practical jokes. Yeah, I you. Like, I, I, I do have a limit though. There's, I don't like food and drinks. I don't muck around with people's food. Like I wouldn't put no. anything in someone's drink no. or, or that sort of thing. I, that that's where I draw the line. I do not and will not ever do that. But there's plenty of scope for other stuff. No. I mean. Even yeah. the golf weekends that we've had and things like that, there's been you and polystyrene just seem to go hand yeah. in hand, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid the price of that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we did bring some polystyrene beanbag balls to put in somebody's golf cart, but somebody got a hold of them, and on our checking out, uh, my brother, I mean somebody, uh, <laughs> accidentally <laughs> spilt beans everywhere. And so the cleaning charged me an extra 150 bucks because there were beanbags and balls everywhere. What did they charge you for that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it said backfired on me, that one. That's what I'm saying, mate. They muck around with polystyrene balls. No, nah, they don't. They're, they're a food diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what vegans eat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How about, G.I., we do our top five, All right. G.I.? Yeah. Three, Three, two. Go to the music. Now. Okay. This is in honour of, uh, well, because of quarantine and, and what's happened, and a lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of industries yes. have gone kaplunk. And one of the biggest industries to have lost is being the airlines. The airline industry, GI. Yeah. Um, so, and, you know, air hosties, yeah. um, ticket handlers, baggage airport, handlers. Baggage at the airport. Airport security. Uh, and, of course, the pilots. The Pontius pilots. But the Pontius <laughs> 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 the pilot, they're gonna get me going. <laughs> pilots, unfortunately, pilots have Qantas so, pilots. Well, Virgin, a tiger, Virgin no longer exists. A uh, tiger, tiger doesn't exist. Yeah, a tiger doesn't exist anymore. So yeah. you've got additional pilots now. Yeah, without, yeah, without jobs. So a lot of them have, have gone out into the workforce to find yeah. other jobs. So That's correct. Um, uh, there so is. So what we're here doing here, we yeah. are here as I suppose. Uh, Scouts for them to help with their jobs. Yeah, they're a lot of like job providers, sort of. Yes. Employment yes. services here, Jim. Employment services. That's, that's, that's what we are. That's what Not only are we people here to help the community, but we're here to help our fellow pilots. Now, of course, um, uh, the first the first job that a, a pilot can do, a Qantas pilot or a Virgis pilot or whatever. They come in for an interview. Come in for we an have interview. A listen to them. Sit them down. Yep. Suggest a job to them. Yes. First now, job you'd just suggest to a pilot, what would it be? I'd say you'd be probably good at uh, being an Uber driver slash security for right. quarantine hotels, maybe. <laughs> but at least they speak English. They they do speak English. Yes. They're very precise with instructions. Yes. I? Yes. They're very good with instructions. So they'd be, oh, <laughs> welcome to the mantra. <laughs> so you will be allocated room 412. <laughs> Please notice the exit signs on your left and right hand side. Sound like an MC. <laughs> and make your way. Dinner will be served at approximately 5.15. Get in the elevator. Get in Ding. the elevator. <laughs> we have reached 4.3. Off they go. Off they go. Yeah. Off they oh, go. I can see them being yeah. perfect. Ideal. Ideal. Uh, so coming in at number four, four. Uh, traffic management. Perfect. Pilot comes in, I need a job, what can I do? Hold a stick. I reckon you'd be the perfect person. You actually know the difference between stop and slow. Yeah. 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 We tell the people, okay, when we're working, you stop. 
Yeah. And then when they're no longer working, you turn it go. That's right. And they bring it through. Now, they, they're good because uh, they get flagged and waved down too, don't they? They understand. So they, they understand. <laughs> they understand. That's right. So from the other side, if one of the other guys is waving like this, he'll, he'll be <laughs> <laughs> getting flashbacks. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for <six> limits. <laughs> but it'd be good to sign, yeah. yeah but I reckon, ideal for them. Yeah. They have their high vis vests. Yeah. And when they cars caps. cars pull up to the side, so <laughs> something, do you ever speak to me? Oh, hey, go, mate. Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Always. So that, that'd be good to, to relay actually, information to the driver. They could actually driver. clean the windows while they're there as well. <laughs> as they're through. Hang on a second. Stop. No, he'd be asking for a cup of coffee. Oh, true. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It would be. Yeah. Uh, Overnight stay. Yeah. That don't want to go outside the scope of his job. No, 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 that's no. Right. We don't want to be stepping on anyone else. Job roll time. is a job roll. It's turning the sign and, and speaking. That's good point. Yeah, no, good point. Coming at number three of our top five uh, jobs for pilots, GI. Yep. Is they'd be useful at the footy, right? As a boundary rider, right? Get him down on the boundary line. Perfect. Get him to describe what is going on down there. Especially the weather. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, it is overcast at the moment. There are uh, five degree, five knot winds coming from the south south Italy with will sort of eventually die down. It'll be a smooth flight from now to the end of the quarter <laughs> to look out for the goals. You see are blowing in a westerly direction. If you check out the clouds, they are approximately at 30,000 feet. <laughs> Over to you, Bruce. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Pilots would be great boundary riders. Perfect. Yeah, describing injuries and stuff. And, yeah. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. They have their microphone attached to their jacket as they're yeah. walking around, yeah. having a look, making their decisions, walking away. Yeah. Ideal. Yep. I couldn't say. I, I'm actually with that one. Oh, yeah. Good one, that one. Coming in at number two. Two. Would be train and bus drivers. Ideal. Th- that is. They'd sit at the top. Yep. In their cabin, then. in the little cabin, it'd be like a, it'd be like a, an aeroplane. It'd be ideal. That's yeah. what they do now. Yeah, they'd sit on the tram. And they'd be able to talk to the passengers as they do. You know, we'll be arriving at Flinders Street Station in approximately thirteen minutes. Yeah. Please be seated. Our time at this point in time, our travelling time is at sixty k's per hour. <laughs> We've got a little bit of traffic ahead of us, but we're slowly hoping that the lights will be in our favour and arrive, make our arrival a little bit earlier than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for flying. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for riding on <laughs> Metrail. <laughs> it's been my pleasure and I'm sure it's been yours. I hope you travel with us again. Yeah. How lovely is that? That I think that is probably close to the perfect job for them. They could step out and step in. The transition and the training. Minimum. Minimal. 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 GI. And you don't have to worry about training. No, and I think the pay scale is pretty much the same. <laughs> no, yeah. No, tram drivers no, get more. No, I do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's more hazardous it's being, a tra- <laughs> being a tram driver. <laughs> I don't get You don't even have to steer in a tram, do you? I, you're in the rails, even the train. Isn't it just, yeah, go, stop, stop, go? No, you still, yeah, you still got to be able, you've got to be vigilant. That's the word. Oh. You need to be vigilant. Ah, Because okay. people will turn around and jump in front of you at the last minute, you know? Well, yeah, yeah. Where on, a, on a plane, that doesn't happen. It would be very hard. <laughs> it doesn't happen on a plane. You would hate that being in a train. Yeah, on a plane. Oh, oh, no, well, no, I'm saying in a train. Train, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, oh, no, he'd have to make the stops and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not if someone's in front of you, it's not going to get sweat. Yeah, true, yeah. Right through. And you can't make it another destination. Oh, we're due to arrive at Broadmeadows. Unfortunately, we'll be going to Upfield now. <laughs> due, 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 due to cloud cover and fog. <laughs> fog. We can't make yeah. <laughs> we can't make Craigie Bird anymore. No, not kind of crazy. We're going to, we're going to Ringwood. Yeah. <laughs> we're off to Sunbury. Yeah, we're just picking up the train and we're moving right across to the next station. And coming in at number one of our top five, five. jobs for Ponches <laughs> Qantas pilots Jeez. is and the drum roll GI at number one is to be a maitre d. Ooh, what about a maitre c? Oh, or an a. a you work a. your way up. Yeah, you work, just work. Just work. Yeah, but to be a maitre d, you stand at the the, the opening at the front of the the restaurant and you're greeting. Perfect. Perfect. Say so yes. Your booking tonight is for two. Please follow me. We'll be progressing westerly through the <laughs> restaurant to table number two. You'll uh, be seated here. 
please uh, be advised that uh, toilets are to your left and to your right. The kitchen is there. Your entree will be arriving at approximately 7.15. Should you require any further drinks, please do not hesitate to call the waitress. Perfect. They, and because they've got such a calming voice, so. lovely. You actually can sit there. <sighs> so, but I wonder. I wonder. Is that part of the training? That calming voice, or is that just is that just a natural characteristic? But they do when they do psychometric testing on these pilots. That's one of the things that they look for. Ah, so they test them for their actual calming voice. <laughs> Coming voice, act under pressure. Uh-huh. So, you know, they got, they got someone with a gun at your face, someone with a strapped bomb on his chest, someone's turned around, the toilets aren't working. <laughs> someone's okay. come with the wrong meal. Really? Yeah. Oh, God forbid, the wrong meal. So, in fact, it could work the other way. If you're a good ma- maitre d', you could be a good pilot. Uh, definitely. That's where they get their pilots from. Oh, they <laughs> go to William Anglis. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. They, they, do, they go, we need pilots. They go, they go to the go, Hilton. Let's, let's go to the Hilton Hotel, hang around in the hallways there. <laughs> I've got a major D for you. He's happening. All right. Don't worry, he's really good. There you go. Uh, gee, oh, there, there you go. There's our top five. So top five. hopefully we've helped our pilots with yeah. the identifying, you know, it's not easy. Potential work. It's not easy it. losing your job and walking away. And then no. you've got to think, mm, what am I going to do? No. That's right. This is just a little help, a little... Because it makes you wonder, what are they doing now? What what are pilots doing? What are their jobs? If it's not these ones they we've just suggested, what, you know, where are they? Are they just lounging around waiting for flights now? Oh, I would say oh, they're probably at home with the you know, three, Xbox. Yeah, simulator, <laughs> so, <laughs> flight simulator. I mean, oh. Yeah, with the ISO weight happening. <laughs> they won't be able to, be able to fly the planes. They'll be that heavy. It'd be lots oh, of they would have to certainly look at that. Yeah, that's true. Mm. It's going to have to be a. You know, some sort of a prerequisite before they get back into the planes. Some sort of a... They probably hit the... Um, SAS. Uber Eats hard. Over <laughs> yeah. Actually, do you have you um, have you ordered uh, online shopping at all, as in supermarket shopping? Yes. While you've been yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We've done it a couple of times. Like through... Uh, Coles and this, this, and through... Uh, Safeway, Safeway, Coles and all that sort of thing. And, and like just order a normal shop or just little things or... No, how, how have you found it? Twice twice we've done uh, the big shop and things like that. I, Is that I, okay? I, yeah, I don't know. Because the only problem I have with that is if they don't have your item, they replace it. Right. Yes. And that's sometimes not what you want. Have you got what have you got as a replacement? Because there was something in the paper uh, that I want to discuss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, what, I can't remember. We've had twi- we've had the couple of shops that we've had. I mean, has a replacement been close? No, that's something completely different. Yeah. Not even the same line. No. There was a lady uh, who uh, she was online. She did her shop, and she wanted some batteries as well. So she's put batteries to the order, right? <laughs> um, so they said, look, unfortunately, we couldn't get batteries in its place. They sent her a loaf of bread. <laughs> That's like... And, and apparently she's like wheat intolerant. She has a wheat allergy as well, so she's gluten and wheat. And they sent her a loaf of bread. How do you figure... Now... Of course, it got posted online because she wanted her five minutes, Mark. She wanted her five minutes of glory. And, I get that. Right? That, so what to... she did is post, like, her remote control between two bits of bread. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she had a um, a personal massager between two <laughs> bits of bread as well uh, and a few other items that needed batteries. And, and it's like, um, how do you figure? Now, Woolworths got online and said, oh, look, our packers work really hard and they're under pressure and they get try to meet the order as much as... And when it does, they do get it wrong sometimes. Yeah, I know you get it wrong, yeah. but how do you get battery loaf of bread? I, I, I don't get that. I, I, that's got to be some sort of a, a, a big mix-up no. somewhere along the way because big. That's, just, that's just purely out... That's just out there. I don't even get that. That's not even close. So I don't even get that. I don't even get the way we don't get... send it. <laughs> yeah, just turn around and say, "Look, it's don't, not don't there. It. It's, we haven't got it. Thank you. No, no problems. I'm sorry. We won't be able, we won't be able to fill that order. Here's yeah. your money back. Yeah, if you've paid, give it. a refund. That's right. Yeah, and now they have to refund it and 
that. Give her an extra an breath ex- of grill loaf. Explanation or whatever. She gets an extra she gets free bread for a year and batteries. <laughs> so what did you get something what did you remember what it was that no, they replaced? I can't remember. With you or, I, can't, well, I think it was like we wanted capsicum we wanted a couple of capsicums. And they gave us a cucumber oh. type of thing. So it was a vegetable. Well, at least it's it? vegetable and it's green. It's but green. it's a big difference. You yeah. can't fry no, yeah. cucumber. True. True. You know, it doesn't go well with, you know, roasted cucumber. Yeah, it, it was, did you get like is the crappy veggies or some they give you them, a normal? Some of them, like some of them were really good. Mm. And some we found that our, our, uh, the strawberries ended up being quite mature. Oh, yeah. So they went off straight yeah, away. Quick, yeah. So but there, I don't know. It's it's half a dozen, six and one, half a dozen of the other. I mean, our beach house, we've gone to the beach house, we've pre-ordered and it's arrived as we've arrived there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least we've had groceries. Yeah, yeah. Type of thing. But, yeah, you know, like being at home and everything during this COVID time, we couldn't do it for a long while. Yeah. Because you, you had to have a special permit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to, have go, to go out. Or yeah, 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 yeah. It's not everybody that gets, a, the, you know, yeah. the true. true delivery. No, true, true. Unless you Uber it. Well, Uber it and you get a pilot to show up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 dropping it off for you. Oh, but you know what else has been happening with Uber? I read this. I did a lot of reading, Gio. You've done a lot of reading. I was in you? hospital. Why are you in hospital? I was in hospital. I thought you would have been just out. Apparently, during the pandemic, during the closure, during the restrictions, um, life tried to continue on as normal as possible. Yeah. And with that, with that goes a lot of illegal activities, Gio. Yes. Uh, apparently, cr- crime's gone down quite a lot. but Massive crime has disappeared. Uh Apparently, they've been using Uber as drug mules. So, people have been... What are you talking about? So, people have been ringing up, needing a fix of some drugs. So, yeah. whatever the drug may be, whether it's marijuana, crack, meth, coke, whatever it is, I don't know. <laughs> but they've been ringing their deal and going, mate, send it around, I need a man, oh, you yeah, know, send it. What the dealers have been doing is chucking it at an Uber... And getting no. it delivered. No way. And it's just been getting there by Uber, unknowing to these Uber drivers, because it's all in a package. Now, they don't know what's in it. No way. Yeah. So so wow. you get a new Uber drugs app now. <laughs> I was going to speak of a menu. A menu. Oh, six of those, five of those, half a dozen oh, of those. I have a couple of painkillers. I have some yeah. uppers. Yeah. I'm feeling, oh, I have party. Let's get like ecstasy. Let's... Oh, do you guys have crack pipes? Crack pipes are hey, crack pipes are on special, dear. Entrepreneurs. That's what I like to see. Entrepreneurs. Yeah. yeah so, them. but utilize. I mean, you don't know. You. you don't know what you're delivering, and uh, except for pilots, they would know if they're an Uber driver. <laughs> they know that stuff. <laughs> they know their shit. Have the, have the sniffer dogs out. <laughs> well, those sniffer dogs, are, yeah, they're out <laughs> as well at the Sn- moment. Sniffer dogs. What do they do now? Yeah, they're all there with the pilots. <laughs> So yeah, it's bloody. That's but that's clever thinking though. If you can't go, because you can't go out and. But is it, it or isn't it? Because I mean, they'll have an address from where it's getting picked up from. The hell! The, but wouldn't the cops just go? Well, let's just go to that joint. Now. Well, how do they know that they've they've actually they haven't been busted for it though, have they? They must have. It was on the internet. Well, it's just someone probably bragging. Just so that's say five minutes. Well, if I can bloody do it, I'm sure the cops are sitting there going, "Hey, let's get on with this." And there'd be many watching the Abbott Ashery boys. <laughs> yeah, that's probably where it's... <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd, he'd, he'd get, Lloyd wants a promotion. He'd get onto this. We've opened up a can of worms here. You do realise that. We're going to be on someone's hit list. <laughs> so we're only kidding. They've lagged us in, boys. They've lagged us in. <laughs> we're only kidding. Hit right? the Abbott Ashery boys. It's not working uh, like Jokes, that, just jokes. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Facts, irrelevant. Here on Habit Ashery. Now, no. I know that you're a big reality star. A reality show person. You yeah, watch all that I, crap. I don't mind it. Yeah, you do. Watch you watch it. all that crap. I don't mind it. Yeah. You, you watch. A lot you, of shows. You, you watch the the Voice, the yeah. show, the uh, America's Got Talent, Australia's Got Talent, uh, the Block. Uh, but you're saying oh, like I'm ashamed. Gee, I'm not ashamed. I watch it. Oh God, oh, no. you, you are. Oh, there's some I don't watch, but you yeah, are, I don't you mind. You are it. a reality show it's junkie. Voyeuristic. I like the voyeurism when you. Of sitting there watching other people go about their lives. But yes, go on. But one of the because yeah, I know you hate them. I do. I can't stand it. Bullshit. You watch Voice. No. Go on. I anyway. Not anymore. I stopped watching it. It's because it's not on. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But one of the biggest reality shows in the world, or one of the biggest reality stars in the world, which you disagree, but Kim Kardashian. I, I, know, I can honestly I've not watched an episode. No, but yeah. neither have I. My brother-in-law has with his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, apparently they just sit there and talk. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah tissues and hands. And- I know my daughter watches it, but yeah. yeah. But... Um, 
the the K- K- Kardashians. Kardashians. Yes, massive stars in the world. Apparently. 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 <laughs> facts. Allegedly. 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 Is, is this alleged or is it? Oh, I don't know. It's, yeah, this on. is what they're reporting. Yeah. Apparently she's got six toes. I got ten. But on one foot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? She's like a bit of a duck. No, that's web oh. food. So got, they're saying this is six, six toes. toes. There's some photographs that are out there at the moment doing the internet. Showing her, Julie, with, Julian. We need to get Julian to have a look at this. Where are sandals? And yeah, we're looking. She's got, you know, one, two, three, and you don't stop at four. Get five, and then the big toe. Oh, oh, does it look? Is. Does it look weird? Well, I don't know. It looks just look wider. <laughs> you, How would you find shoes? Oh, on the shelf. But that's besides, <laughs> that's besides the point. <laughs> it's, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's got six toes. So she wears a pair of thongs and things like that. It just, just oh, would you wear thongs? Well, I don't know. That's like, the, if you had an extra toe, would you flaunt it or would defo- you deformity? Do you call it a deformity or is that just? That's a deformity. Yeah, it's an addition like, by God. No, it's deformity. Yeah, you're true. being punished. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for putting on that show, and making my daughter watch it because you could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, that a, would be weird, especially if it's a big. Actually, what? we we knew someone that had a a An extra finger. Yeah, remember? Yes, we coached we coached a, a soccer team, yes. uh, a, a university team, and um, they had an extra thumb. Yeah, it, it came out the side. It did, didn't it? Was it on the here or it wasn't here or something like that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong. No, with no, that. no. Okay, we've had a very useful life. Yeah. <laughs> He's our goalkeeper. <laughs> Great saves. He's, nothing will get past that guy. And he, yeah. he used to give you the three thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> it was a V. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, so no. How come no one's ever noticed or picked up on the Kardashian having an extra toe? Because I think everyone's looking at her ass. That's just the big thing about it. And there's a lot there to look at, you no, know. No, it's, no. Not, it's not a pleasant sight, but, you know. But I think no one just, once they take a photo, it's always about a big uh, okay. and things like that. I wish, I wonder if, yeah, if we can get, that'd be good if we can get a photo of it. And, but and the question would up. be, is, you know, it's usually genetic, that sort of thing. Who had it? You know, did, did his well, mother or his I mean, mother have it? <laughs> did his mother or his mother? I, I'm tending to look more towards Bruce. <laughs> G.I. is having it. <laughs> His mother, her mother, Bruce. Her mother, Bruce. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> hey, call me Bruce. Um, yeah, so, you know. Yeah, who had that, it? that who still had baffles it? me how you can go from being in the Olympics to. Uh, <laughs> well, no, yeah. Shez, Shez's daughter, Chaz, became. Oh, uh, Bono, yeah. Uh, not uh, yeah, yeah, Bono. Yeah, Bono. Chaz Bono. Now he's yeah, yeah, Chaz yeah. Bono. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Chaz Bono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a photo just recently. Yeah, but he or she, they weren't in the Olympics. So I don't know. No, they, I mean, they, she was a cute little happened. girl and everything like yeah. that. And then, but they were relatively like, early in their life. As opposed to Bruce, he was yeah. he was fifty, sixty or something. Yeah, oh well, oh well. He's found he's himself. Boy. He's found himself a new. He's skin. fine, so to speak. So to speak. <laughs> yes, apparently he's getting married. No way. Yeah. To a woman. What? He, well, apparently he's gay. Yeah, but he's ma- was male. But, gay. No, no, so if he's that, male and gay, that means no, no, he get married to another male. No, 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 because he's changed his gender and now he... Has he had the full... Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's, that's a bit beyond me. That's, that's well, a bit too I, personal. I need to know because... <laughs> it's a bit too personal for me. But apparently, no, because he, he, he's <laughs> legally changed his gender... Yeah, yeah, I get that. ...to a female. And yeah. now he's, because he's gay, he's marrying another female. But you said he is gay, no, so that means she's he would have gay. to marry another she's, male she's for him gay. to still be gay. No, she's she's that and that marrying another. She's marrying a female. So, okay. So why did they get divorced? Because he, from he, Kardashian, if she Jenna, was Jenna. She's Jenna. She's no, she, Kardashian. No, she's Kardashian. No, no, it was Bruce Jenner had married his wife. Yeah, and she was a Kardashian. Yeah, but he married her. Maybe she was a Jenner. She's still a Jenner. Oh, yeah, okay. But she was Kardashian. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who's on first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's on second? Yeah, so yeah, so he... But he, no, but that's, that's the whole thing. He, too confusing. He wanted to get away from it all. So Get away from what? Yeah. Being married to a woman, which I he's now married to. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I still can't get it. It was just... It was, yes, you're right. 
right. That's all I know. Maybe he didn't like her. Maybe he found her too what? butch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How good would it be if she become transgender now <laughs> and marries him? <laughs> oh, confusing. Very the world. Confusing. The world. Very shocked. But last, last one before we go. Another yeah. show. Go. There was a, uh, a a woman in Victoria who had a car stolen twenty years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And it, years it ago. was a Holden Tirana. Wow! Now, They're good cars. They were good cars at the time, yeah. and, and still are. We know um, our friend Matt's got a, a yellow one. Now, they found it. They found her Tirana twenty years ago. 20, 20, 25 years later, they found the car, and have gone. Here you go. Excuse me, lady. Did you own a Tirana back in uh, in 1990? Uh, here it is. We found it. There's your car back. And she's like, oh, my God, what? No way. It's it's worth around 120000 now. And what did the police say? What, how did they, what did they I don't it? know. I, they, they must have, it must have been trying to get sold somewhere. And then somehow the rego came up. Some policeman, yeah, again, was just doing some work after hours or something go, oh, here's his car. Belongs to this woman. I know hey. what happened. I know what happened. Her son yeah. took it out one night. Yeah. Went to the shopping centre. Yeah. Parked the car. Yeah. Came out. Didn't Gone. know where he parked it. Couldn't remember. So it's been here ever since. So it's been here ever since. <laughs> That's all it was. That's all it was. The shopping centre's been torn down. <laughs> they found the car in the basement. <laughs> Can we move this car? We've got to build a shopping centre. <laughs> the shopping centre. Yeah. And they said, oh, hey, oh it's it. let's ring up the, oh, look who it is. It's this lady. I haven't got her name here, but yeah, it's this lady. Five years down the track. It's I point. I heard the story. Oh, is that Oppo? It's just the city of Oppo. And it was a pink terrain. It's pink, bright pink. It's not like you go... It wasn't How originally. do you misplace a bright pink Tirana and not see it getting driven around? <laughs> it's probably someone's backyard. You know, it's in the shed. It looked in garage. Mickey Mouse condition. It's lucky, so. lucky that no one chopped it up. Yeah, it's where For my parts. it's where my Beamer is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, your Beamer. My Beamer's on the way to New Zealand somewhere in a in a container, <laughs> a shipping <laughs> yeah, container. It's, it's a Beamer on one side and, and feet and people like, on the it other. It got stolen, and and I copped a, a speeding fine down the Western Ring Road <laughs> for it that night. No way. Yeah, here they go. He's a fine. What are you talking about? The car got stolen. It's not my not paid. Was this. it a camera? Yeah, really a camera. Yeah. Did they see the, who was driving? No, no, it's from the back. What's the point of that? Didn't you have the front camera on the front? Like I'm that there? fast. They only got it from the back. <laughs> <laughs> they had to get to bloody uh, Williamstown GI. <laughs> Straight in, container, New Zealand, New Zealand gone. Gone. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, well, you that's go. what happens. You, you've never had a car knocked off? No. No, no, no. Like we, we thought we had Dad's car knocked off one year. Yeah. Yeah, when we were down at Rye. Oh, yeah. 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 We were down at the beach and um, used to go to the carnival and everything like that. And Dad, you know, he was there. We were there. Friends yep, and everything park, like that, yep. partying. And uh, we, I saw Dad and he was absolutely flustered and Mum was in tears and everything. I said, what's wrong? He goes, someone's taking the car. I said, no way. He goes, yes. He goes, I parked it in the normal spot that I always park it, in the bay, you know, the parking lot on yeah. the beach. Yep. He goes, it's not there anymore. <laughs> no. I said, it can't be. I mean, it's an old car. No one yeah. really wants that sort of a car. No, they've taken it. But little did he know that there was an idea I, – Identical cars park next to it. Yeah. There was two big car parks next yeah, to yeah. one another. Yeah. He'd parked it in the other one oh. without realising it. So his car hadn't been stolen. He just forgot which, <laughs> which car park it was. That's, <laughs> that's all. So when I pointed the uh, situation out to him, he was a little bit... Oh, he's happy so, out yeah. there, yeah. So he goes, the fact that he was looking for it for about two and a half hours... <laughs> <just> <laughs> I said, why did you call the police or anything like that? Because no, I know that someone took, I was going to look for it. Oh, yeah. It has to be here in Rye somewhere. <laughs> That's right. No, no, never had that issue. Lucky me. Because I don't buy good cars. I just buy crappy cars. Buy, your car's all right. I just buy crappy cars. We just buy everyday cars. Unlike your good selves who buy, you know, top notch cars. <laughs> <laughs> a Beamer. An Audi. I've always wanted a Beamer. I don't got a Beamer. What do you Oh, it looks like a brand new one. It Second hand. What, what, it doesn't matter what it is. It's Oh, yeah. Posh, aren't you? No, I just like the car. It's a nice yeah, yeah, car. Yeah, of course you do. Yes. Nice running car. Oh, well, so your right car's there. nice. You got that's a car. Your wife bought a nice new car. What are you yeah, talking about? So you right then beginning to pinch. That's all I can tell you. How? It wasn't like I left it at a mechanic's. <laughs> it got pinched from the mechanic, not even from 
You say potato, I say potato. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? You bring it to a mechanic, they ring up, they go, oh, about your car. I go, is it ready? He goes, no, it's stolen. <laughs> And it's going to cost you two and a half grand for the service. Yeah. I do they go, well, your insurance will cover it. He goes, why haven't you got insurance? Go, why have I got it? Your insurance on mine. The guy wouldn't pay. He wouldn't pay for insurance. Uh, did you oh, pay him for the service? Lemo. Did, huh? did you pay for the service? <laughs> no, I didn't pay. No, I didn't pay. No, I paid another one. Cause they, yeah. Anyway, Bucky. I think we're done and dusted, G.I. Again. It's been wonderful being here. Good having you back. It was another haberdashery boys done, dusted. But to do it with you in the same room mm. and face to face. Finally, finally have you here. Um, good drop too, by the way. I must say, drop, it's, it's, it's a darn good drop. I don't like champagne, but... Uh, yeah, so it's a couple of years old, this one. That's probably why. No, fermented, that, that, fermented champagne. Yeah, yeah they say, oh, it doesn't age, doesn't age, but that's bullshit. Oh, yeah, so nice. it goes all right. I oh, think nice. that one's 20 years old. So. That's very nice. That's deserving. How, deserving. That's, how long, that's how long we've been apart. Yeah, it was 20, <laughs> 20 years. years. <laughs> Very good. So, so with that, enjoy, G.I. We'll see you next week. We'll see you guys next week. Jump online again, as always. Please leave comments, suggestions, top five. If you've got a gripe, let us know. I know Fitzy uh, asked about the master. The master, yes. We're uh, gonna have to see how we can get we can get him back online or something. He might be out of isolation now, so we might be able to get yeah. the the master done, GI. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll jump that noodle when we get to it. Until then, say no. Uh, good night. Give me a <laughs>